Webflow has been around for quite some time now and is considered widely to be one of the most powerful website builders currently on the market. However, now that we're in the midst of the AI revolution and all of these new AI website building tools are popping up all over the market every single day, Webflow needs to adapt and evolve in order to not get swept away by this AI wave that is upon us. The good news is that Webflow is taking this challenge very, very seriously and just a few days ago released an article walking us through and breaking down their plan of action on how they're planning to incorporate all of this new AI technology into the Webflow platform to help us streamline and make more efficient our web build process. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through this article. I'm gonna give you Webflow's three-step action plan on how they're planning to incorporate AI into their platform. And then at the end, I'll kind of give you my, my closing thoughts and tell you how I see this going from here. So right. Webflow's first plan of action is to essentially use AI to help us learn how to use Webflow in a more efficient way. Now, this is not really a world changing idea. And this to me is not a real serious way that they're going to get ahead of this AI revolution that's coming, but it is a starting point. So their idea is right now, if you're building in the Webflow designer and you have a question and you need to figure out how to, let's say, add an animation to an element you can't just right there from inside the designer figure out how to do that you have to go to youtube and watch a tutorial or go to webflow university and find the right video so webflow's idea here is if you need to add an animation or an interaction to one of your elements while you're building you can just go to some sort of ai assisted learning chatbot type in your question and then it will then feed you the tutorial or the information you need to then implement that interaction on the element in your designer so again this is not a world changing idea. This is not gonna move the needle for me really. Um, it might help me streamline my web design process, my web build process slightly. Um, but again, this is not really something I'm very excited about, although it is a step in the right direction. Now, the second plan of action that Webflow laid out is a very bold idea, and this one actually gets me excited. I think these are the kind of ideas that Webflow is going to have to keep coming up with and implementing in order to stay ahead in this AI revolution. So this is an idea called the AI Copilot. All right, now there's two goals of the AI Copilot. The first goal is essentially content creation from inside of the Webflow designer. So what does this mean? Well, right now, for example, if I want to create a really catchy header for my landing page or write a new meta description for SEO purposes or generate a really cool background image for my website, I have to leave Webflow and go use ChatGPT or Midjourney or a variety of other AI tools that I can then copy and paste into my Webflow site, into my Webflow designer. Webflow's idea with this AI Copilot is to basically eliminate the need to leave Webflow and bring all of that in-house. So I really like this first goal a lot, and I think this could really streamline our web build process. Now, the second goal of the AI Copilot is also equally cool. Now, this kind of takes us away from the content generation aspect that we just talked about and gets us more into creating elements, components, sections, and other things right there automatically for us inside of Webflow. So for example, instead of having to build a new nav bar with every new website that I build, I can go into the AI Copilot and say, hey, can you please make me a nav bar with a logo in the middle and a hamburger menu on the far right in Helvetica font, et cetera, et cetera. And theoretically, the AI Copilot will pop out a nav bar for me to use on my new site. I think this is pretty awesome. This could really, really speed up a lot of our website development process because now instead of having to manually build out all these sections and these components and these divs inside of each other, if an AI Copilot can do that for me and get me maybe not all the way there, but close, close enough to where I have a nav bar now that I can kind of tweak and make slight changes to and then I'm good to go this could save us 90% of our time. I mean, honestly, this could change the way we use Webflow. So I really, really like this idea. Now, the third plan of action that Webflow presented in this article is I think the most profound and important one and probably the one that has the most staying power over the next few years of this AI revolution. This is the idea of creating AI generated website templates for us to kind of get us going in the right direction as we begin our web build processes. There's almost nothing worse than staring at a blank canvas at the very beginning of your next website project and not really knowing where to go, how to start, or having any real inspiration for how you want your site to end up. So the idea here is that Webflow will have some sort of text prompt where it will ask us, what is your business name? What is the purpose of your business? What are your goals for this website? 
and you type all of this in, you answer all those questions, and then Webflow AI will generate a template for you for your website from scratch. Whereas before you kind of had that huge activation potential that you had to get over in order to get going in a website build process or a project. Now we essentially eliminate that curve down to zero because artificial intelligence will take care of all of that work for us and give us the push we need to get going. Now I'm not saying that artificial intelligence will give us a turnkey website right out of the box based on a few text prompts, but if it can carry the load of setting up kind of the foundation of our website, kind of giving us the inspiration that we are sometimes lacking at the beginning of a project. If it can handle that load for us and then all we have to do is kind of go in at the end and tweak and change a few things here and there to better align with our brand or our unique business models, etc. The amount of websites that we can start to turn over for our clients is going to increase exponentially. I can't even fathom how many sites we can start to build for people if AI inside of Webflow can lessen the activation potential needed to get going on these projects at the very beginning. It's going to change the game. So those are the three plans of action that Webflow has presented in this article. Here are my thoughts. Webflow has to be scared. They have to be worried. They're looking around, they're seeing these AI website builders popping up all over the place and they have to be losing their minds, worried to death. And they should be. I think it's healthy to, to see that and be a little worried. But here's the good news. Webflow has an unbelievable community of people around the world who love their product. Their product is, I think, the best way to build a website currently on the market. It has never been easier to build a website in the history of the world than it is right now because of tools like Webflow. So they have an unbelievable first mover advantage that is going to kind of insulate them, I think, for at least a little while against this huge AI wave that is coming. So with that time allowed them by their first mover advantage, they can start to catch up on a lot of this AI stuff and be just fine. So if they can transform their tool, which makes website building the easiest it's ever been and integrate AI into that mission and make website building even easier than they've already made it, they're going to be just fine because they'll have the community, their product will be so robust, so clean, so easy to use and supercharged with this new AI technology that they're just going to be the market leaders and they, they won't have anything to worry about going forward. I could see Webflow, if they really want to jumpstart this AI supercharged boost that they're planning to do, I could see them acquiring one of these new AI website builders that doesn't have the real infrastructure or the robustness that Webflow has. Um, making an offer, acquiring them, and then kind of working with them and their team to integrate with what Webflow has already built. I think that might be something we see. Total guess so, I don't really know, but that could be one plan of action. So get down in the comments and let me know what you think about Webflow's plan. Let me know if you agree with my assessment of the state of this revolution, or if you have different ideas. Get down in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and where you think all of this is going. And I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.